Oh. Hello, World Wide Web. I'm Dr. Shadow, the internet personality who's been having a hell of a year. And, yeah, it's been a while since the last review, hasn't it? Harvey came by. Fucked things up pretty bad. So, shit. Manga, how are we doing up to this point? Because things, I mean, we've been behind for a bit because I got sick before when the barometer went all crazy and my teeth were all bad, so I was like, ah. And then we were behind then, and then I got old. Hi, Tara. Yeah, you're, yeah, I'm back. It's okay. I'm fine. Yes, I am. I'm just talking to the peoples right now. They know I'm fine. Yeah. So... Uh, after that, then of course I actually did get a full-on abscess, and I got it with the dentist, and I was working on getting that taken care of, and I was getting that done. Most of it, I got all the bad teeth on this side out, and I was going to get all of the, the ones on this side all at once, beginning of, well, end of uh, August, actually. But that got delayed because of Harvey. So I still got those teeth in here. But, oh, man, that is just so much stuff. Also, earlier, got engaged. Took a little time, things. Uh, but, the, so, lots of things, crazy stuff. Big things happen in you. And I've been trying, I have been trying to get back on schedule. And every time I'm like, I can make some time up this week. End up not making that time up and getting further behind. I'm just going crazy because it's like, Grr. I'm getting so stressed out over not being able to work. If you, if you think about that one, that's a bit of a crazy one, being like, oh my god, today I was trying to watch a movie, but I ended up having so little time to myself, I didn't even finish watching the movie. That's the kind of thing that fucks you. It fucks up your head. You're like, mm, because they got to go play, you got to do all sorts of things. And I uh, had time, I spent a day looking at the place that was like, this is where you're going to be moving next year. Now I'm not moving there anymore. And there's a lot of shit going on with that. And, ugh. So, the thing with Harvey. Honestly, I came up pretty good. Came up pretty good with Harvey. Harvey didn't fuck with me too bad. Uh, here, my technical home, where my home is on my ID and everything actually uh, did not flood, aside from the lawn and stuff, it didn't get past the porch, it did not get onto the foundation, it was good. Everything in here is fine. Pipes exploded, and the garage flooded as a result, but aside from that, there, there, there was a plumbing problem when they brought the water back on after turning it off around here. A lot of pressure, exploded pipes, got, got that fixed, so yay, but I wasn't here for that. I was down at my fiancé's place, and down there we also fared pretty well. Uh, it was just flooding, like, the north side of our apartment. Just the wall was some seeping in through the very poorly, uh, poorly sealed cracks. So I was there with a, with a dustpan and a bucket all night just scooping up water, scooping up water, scooping up water, pouring it down the sink, scooping up water, scooping up water, pouring it down the sink. Stayed up all night doing that. And yeah, like I said, we fared very well compared to a lot of people around here because there's just so many people that lost so much as their houses were halfway flooded, completely flooded, lost their, all of their, uh, furniture, lost all of their electronics, lost all of their property entirely, have to do a whole bunch of renovating around the house to prevent mold from growing now, with all that not money they have, and lost their cars, yeah, lots and lots of loss going on everywhere. So, especially taking that into account, I was extremely lucky, but I still out of power for a while and all that stuff. So my fiancé's family took us up to another part of Texas that was a good bit away from here and had power and all that, no flooding anywhere, but it was so far away from everything, I couldn't go anywhere, I don't have a car. And so, it was, had a lot of cows as neighbors We spent a while there and it was not really... And it was nice to have light and air conditioning and be able to play the switch 
that was nice because you know por portable game system very nice for that also considering I got one of the big bags that you can fit a dock in as well that that did help because we did throw the dock in there and got over there and just put the dock into the TV and like haha it works uh, the TV was maximum 720p so it was just the same resolution as the handheld but hey point is bigger screen uh, but yeah finally got back down here and now I'm trying to get back on getting all the work done which while I was you know away I still did work on work but I didn't get nearly as much done as I would have if the hurricane never happened I was able to work thanks to surface I wasn't able to work thanks to this thing it's not fucking working anymore for some reason. It's a hundred thirty dollar keyboard. Doesn't do anything now. Yay. Fortunately, fiance gave me this. It's a simple USB keyboard, but it does the job, and the important thing is it works. I'm just using this as a screen cover for now. I've done everything short of doing a a uh, factory reset to try and get this keyboard to work again. I do mean everything. I did all the unplug and plug it back and I went into to the drivers, deleted the drivers, redownloaded the drivers, redownloaded it over and over again, pulled it apart and put it back together ten times in a row. But did the thing where you hold down the up, power up button and the power, the, the volume up button and the power button at the same time for a while until it all does a hard stop and then you turn it back on. Did that where it has its and you turn it, turn it on that way to add to the BIOS and then get through it. Did that with the keyboard not attached, with the keyboard attached, with the keyboard starting attached and then not attached, with the keyboard starting not attached and then attached. Nothing fucking worked. Still doesn't work. Keyboard still does nothing. <sighs> so, the next review I actually typed up mostly on the touchscreen keyboard, which was a bit of a pain in the ass, <laughs> but possible. I'm going to have to go through it again just now to sort of proofread it, make sure that there's no massive typos, because that can kind of happen when you have to do a touchscreen keyboard for the whole damn script. And oh, around here, got back here, and there's mosquitoes absolutely everywhere. And I'm trying to help out around to help clean things up and to get the... Uh, just everything nice and organized so that I can sit down, film, Make a review, give it to you, yay! It's just happiness work, doing stuff. I, it, I'm supposed to have the whole summer done by the 21st. Don't think that's happening, because I'm on what? Two videos now? Out of the 13, 14 that it was <laughs> supposed to be? Oh god, why? But, uh, still... When the power went out, it wasn't too bad. It had a lovely uh, little power bank to the solar panel on it. Also, when I was after finishing the one script, I went on to the next one, but I couldn't freaking do it because halfway through the movie, the audio screwed up and was completely out of sync and was like, so I just now, today, went ahead and edited the audio back into sync at that point in the movie. I lose about a minute and a half of somber memories and dreaming, so it's not too bad. But, uh, it's like, I don't need any more shit. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, yeah. There's just a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So much stuff that you just... Uh, no. Stop that. Stop it all. Entirely. And, yeah, a lot of things in the future are now up in the air, unknown... Of course, I only got two reviews out last month, which means that the uh, things for this month are not looking like, not looking so good. But I'm hoping if I can actually get my fucking work done, that'll come around. So, yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah. Very important thing to mention before everything is all done. You probably have heard the wonderful music at the end of all of the reviews after a certain point in the Summer of Hellraiser. All of that wonderful music that has been composed by Ichabod Todd 
and there is all of the new music that is coming up in the more recent reviews still composed by Ichabod Todd and I'm here to say that I have been paying him the best way I can. EXPOSURE! Yes, that's real payment, Tara. It, it, people know him. They read credits and look at long, convoluted YouTube links that you have to type in yourself and go and check him out and subscribe to him and buy his merchandise and his CDs because he's got awesome music. They do that. The links are going to be in the description. People go there. Ichabod Todd, awesome guy, makes awesome music. For people who are not very good at... Yeah, so let's not talk about that part anymore. Let's not talk about that part anymore. Let's just talk about how much the internet loves little kittens. Yeah, they do. Yeah, see that? See the internet, Tara? The internet's out there. Look. Yeah, see? That's the internet. They're looking at you. Yeah? What you gonna do? You just gonna stare back? That's a, that's a lot of internet staring at you. <sighs> So yeah, there's a lot and lot and lot going on. So much going on. So much. And oh yeah. Still got so much I gotta do. And I gotta get back down to my fiance's place because I know she misses me. And yeah. So thank you all for watching. I've been Decker Shadow. And remember. You're going to need a lot more water than you realize when it comes to preparing for no infrastructure. <laughs>